Welcome to the channel, welcome to the vlog, and welcome to the garage. Lots of updates today on the Project Truck. Uh, I just realized I've not made a truck video in quite some time. Last videos we made were how to install headlights into your F-150 and how to install taillights into your F-150, but we haven't done a truck project update yet. So let's get into it. So one of the biggest updates is we got a brand new rad support we got that all installed there's no headlight buckets yet uh, we haven't finalized the wiring battery tray is not in but the rad is in bolted down and the rad support is bolted down so we got to get to reinstalling the headlights headlight buckets and all that stuff but because we got a brand new rad support, we got lots of new parts and freshly powder coated, which I'll show you very shortly. The other thing I wanna do is get rid of these rubber lines and go to a proper uh, line so that we don't have any issues with the fuel spilling out and causing a fire. Cause we definitely, definitely do not want that to happen. We got the battery tray. We got it all sandblasted. And I dropped it off to Powderworks. Jay did an absolutely incredible job powder coating this. It just turned out phenomenal. I also got him to do all of the other parts that attach to the actual front rad support. So, we got the front brace, we got the hood latch, all beautifully powder coated. He did such an incredible job. We took these parts and had them all sandblasted before we took them to him. And the headlight bezels. One of the big things that you may or may not notice here is normally these normally these headlight bezels have a square cut out in them well these ones are actually round for the fact that we got new headlights to go into these bezels i'll show you these very soon and then we also got the corner pieces that hold the fender to the rad support all powder coated so Basically everything that I hadn't bought new, we have now got powder coated and looking like brand new anyways. So we got the new headlights, which are now an H, they are an H4 bulb. They got the wires because these actually have halos around them. But the main issue we had was the square did not fit over this back housing. So now I got it routed out and then I actually had to shave a bunch of um, pieces that were stuck out of the back of these for, I think, for different mounting applications. So once I shave them off, then now we can get the bezels put on and get these sitting properly so with the new headlight bezels i also got new screws to hold the retaining rings in and i figured that these retaining rings were kind of rusted and one one tab on one of them is broke off they're not super super clean they probably could be um, sanded and then polished and then re-cleaned up, but honestly, I didn't see the point of doing that, so I just ordered some brand new retaining rings. These ones just, you can see the difference in the retaining rings, like nice and shiny and new and all the tabs there, and this one kind of rough and been weathered for 51 years, so can't blame for looking the way it does 
but we got new retaining rings. All of the hardware was actually really kind of gross and just rusted, like severely rusted. The springs that hold the actual headlight adjusters down and the buckets were all super rusted and just looked pretty janky. And if I'm going to make this all look like brand new, then I figured for the small price of the new parts, I just ordered all new stuff. So we got all new headlight adjusters. The other part that attaches to the grill is the front lights. These are in rough shape as you can see. So I thought I ordered some new clear ones, but these are obviously for the Chevy truck and not the GMC because these are way too small. So I'll have to get these returned and get the proper ones. It's a good thing we still have a lot of time, but I'll get the proper ones ordered for these and then We'll get these looking spicy new as well. On the right side, I did get the proper gasket for the headlight lens. So at least we're off to a good start with having the right gasket. Now we just need to get the right lens. One thing from driving the truck last year, I realized that when using the signal light, when turning the wheel back, it didn't cancel the signal light switch out. So I actually got a new signal light canceller, so we should be able to switch this out and hopefully this fixes the problem with the signal light switch. If not, we might have to look into getting a new switch or something else that's wrong, but this was fairly inexpensive and I just added it to one of my orders just to save on some shipping. The headlight bezels, I took these into work to sandblast them, but these are actually polished stainless and up in this corner, it was all smashed in and dented. I'll put a picture on the screen right here. But we worked these out, got them cleaned up, got all the dents removed. And now we can get these sent out to be recoded and we're gonna make these something very special. I'm not gonna share that with you guys yet. You're just gonna have to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload a new video so that when we get these finished and back, you can see what I actually did to them. And now for one of the most challenging parts of the whole front grill project is this front grill. It is chrome plated and it was peeling off in the corners up in here. You can kind of see that it's still a bit peeling in here. To get this coating off has been in an extreme challenge and nothing is working. I've tried sandblasting it and it barely touched it. I've tried oven cleaner. I put this on. I wrapped this up and let it soak for an hour and a half to two hours and it didn't touch it at all, which was super frustrating. I even googled online how to strip plated chrome off of metal pieces and a lot of the actual websites that I got to said to use hydrochloric acid which is actually muriatic acid which is the same thing as hydrochloric acid but this is what you can buy at the retail store. I tried coating the grill with this and put it in a bag and let it soak and it started to turn a little bit yellow which means that it was taking the actual chrome plating off but it really didn't touch it that long and the smell and the chemical of this was just absolutely horrific and I would not recommend using this in any indoor spaces. I was doing this outside. I had gloves, goggles, respirator, everything on that I needed to for my own personal protection but it was just horrific and I do not recommend doing this method unless you're in a controlled environment that you can control um, where the liquid's going because you need to rinse it off and wash it uh, or it's just going to keep the, doing its acidic work and just ruin your part. So be super, super careful with the muriatic acid. But for me, it didn't work. So I'm going back to just an old fashioned cleaning up with a grinder and scotch brights and using a orbital sander to get all the flat surfaces but we're going to get this all prepped for its next stage of its life which if 
you want to know what I'm actually going to be doing with the front grill, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video, and watch the build, watch the project truck come together. We are here for a long time and a good time, and we're just going to enjoy this process of building my 1971 GMC pickup truck. I have decided that we are going to be running the transport wheels. I'm going to get them powder coated a different color and I think the direction I want to go and the vision that I've seen, uh, it's what I want to run for the moment anyway. And I think it's just going to look super, super sick. And it's a look that I've been a big time fan of. Guy at work also found out that I was looking for the original GMC hubcaps apart from the the other ones that we have in the previous vlog. I'll put the links up above. But we did get these ones that in the pictures I thought they looked pretty cool. But now seeing them in person I'm not so much a fan that... I don't think I'm going to run these because there's something about them I just just don't like. The guy at work knew that I had those ones and he said, are you interested in getting a proper set uh, that actually originally come with the truck? And I was like, yeah, that's originally what I was looking for. So he pulled out of his shed these. He's had these in his shed for not sure how long, but they weren't in this good of shape. The paint was all peeling off. Uh, it is supposed to be black in these areas and then the GMC with the circle is supposed to be red I paint stripped them all and I started polishing this one getting it looking back to factory So now we can repaint the proper paint on here make them look fresh and clean and then I think these on the transport wheels will look really really cool and it's the look that I'm going for. And speaking of adding to the list, I'm going to link a fella's YouTube channel up above. He posted a video of his truck on the transport wheels that he just installed after I dropped my video, but his truck is actually lowered on two and a half inch drop spindles up front with two inch springs and six inch springs in the rear. As you guys may, may or may not know, my truck, Cruise, is lowered on 4-inch springs in the rear and 2-inch springs in the front. The stance is okay, but I think it can look a little bit better if we go a little more low. And that's what we're going to do. We got some CPP 2.5-inch drop spindles. That is going to get the truck down 2.5 inches in the front. And we still have the 6-inch springs on their way. But we have the main piece right here. So if you want to see a video on how to install the two and a half inch drop spindles on your truck, hit that subscribe button. And I'm going to do a video on lowering the truck and getting it to the stance that I think looks really rad. Go check out my boy's video and it'll kind of give you an idea of the stance and the fitment that I'm after that I think looks just primo and perfect. So, as you guys can see, lots of projects, lots of updates, lots of things going on with the truck in the background, and we got a ton of work to do. I still have to do the rockers on the driver's side, finish working on the passenger fender, get that all reworked and ready for paint, then get the fender and the door back on the passenger side get the filler smoothed out on the passenger side of the truck get that ready for paint then do the driver's side rockers and door jams fit the new fender with the door on the driver's side completely reassemble the front rad support get the headlight buckets in get the brackets bolted back on get the battery tray broke bolted back on we're going to get the drop spindles put in get the rear springs put in get the chrome chrome grill and the headlight bezels finished up off to the shop um, to get refinished lots of things to do we also have a brand new bumper we got to get that installed i'm trying to work from the front bumper and slowly pick my way along the back because 
there's a lot to do and I seem to not be able to prioritize anything of what's going on so I really think I need to get a whiteboard and start making a list of everything that I want to accomplish and just get done to the truck because the list is growing and growing and growing every day I haven't even touched or even thought about the interior yet because it needs a complete overhaul and we've got a fair amount of parts for that that we got to work with as well so lots and lots and lots to do there's no shortage of work we're just going to pick at it one day at a time work at it as we can and just enjoy the process and learn with every step of the way so i'm going to get to working on the chrome grill i'll show you a little update in a little bit once i get some more of the sanding and working out the dents but hopefully today's plan is to get the grill all ready for the new coating so like after the black paint in here has been removed you can see it's quite pitted from rock chips and such and I'm trying to get it look to look closer to this I'm trying to get most of the pits out and clean it up so that it just looks much better so when it gets its new coating you won't see all these pits and just grossness in there so that's the main reason why i'm sanding this down and we'll get these dents fixed up and cleaned up make, just make it look like new again before we send it off and get it taken care of with that being said i'm going to continue working on this it is a slow and very tedious pro project but at the end of the day if you take your time and you go that extra mile the results at the end are going to be that much better so thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's update and just major project update basically um, i'm going to start to really focus on getting a lot more videos out to you guys and just show you everything that we're doing to the truck and document this process for myself for my kids future grandkids if that happens who knows but these videos will be here for a really long time and hopefully it helps someone like you that is like me has no idea what we're doing we're just taking it one day at a time and learning a lot so thanks for watching i hope you guys have a fantastic day please like comment subscribe peace